Woo. As Jim Carrey would say. Wow. Uh, the Giants fired Mark Colombo as their offensive line coach and hired Dave Duglielmo. There's a lot to this story. A lot to the story. So let's break it down one by one. Apparently, the Giants were hiring Duglielmo regardless as an assistant to Mark Colombo. They were going to hire him as an assistant because the past three weeks, Judge has been more involved in the O-line. We'll get to that in a second. Um, Tom Peloroso reported that they were going to bring him to be the assistant. Now, when this news happened, apparently Mark Colombo did not take it well. And there was a big argument. Um, Jason McIntyre reported there was a fight. Everyone else has reported that that's false. It was just, it was a yelling match. Um, so that's what happened. So Dave Duglielmo was brought in to be an assistant. Mark Colombo, who wasn't really a Joe Judge like hire. He didn't, he was the, him and Jason Garrett were the only two coaches that didn't have some sort of connection with Joe Judge. So it wasn't, and Duglielmo was, it was between Duglielmo and Colombo for the offensive line judge job in the offseason. So that's, I actually have some like Duglielmo, um, knowledge stored up in the old noggin because of that. So let's get into it. The last three games, and we'll, let's get into why. The last three games, we've seen the improvement from the offensive line. Mike Garofolo uh, said this morning on uh, Good Morning Football or whatever NFL Network show that apparently Joe Judge has kind of not taken over the O-line, but he was focusing on the O-line, spending his practices with the offensive line. And it has showed up. Um, Numbers-wise, just in the numbers-wise, it showed up in the run game. We have seen the run game be better these last three weeks. So I went and looked. The first seven games where apparently Judge hasn't been a part of it, they were averaging 98 rushing yards per game. These past three games, 138 yards per game. 40 yards is a big difference. And where the biggest difference comes from is take out Daniel Jones. I know you can't take out Daniel Jones, but... A lot of his stuff isn't like the O-line. Like, his running isn't really like the O-line just blocking and doing really good. It's it's read option when the running when the defensive end crashes. There's some scheme involved in it, but it's not just like the O-line, you know, a hog molly on a hog molly. The running backs, the last three weeks, 110 yards per game. 110 yards. That's awesome. That's awesome production when you have a running quarterback to who's getting yards. The first seven games, 56 56 yards. It's really being doubled. So, first thought is Colombo probably wasn't a good offensive line coach. Um, he inherited a really good O-line coach or offensive line in Dallas. So, it seems like Colombo's not a good O-line coach. It actually makes me happy about Joe Judge. It's like, wow, Joe Judge can just coach the O-line and it's better. And not just the numbers. When has Andrew Thomas been good? These past three games. These past three games. And Thomas has not been perfect, and uh, I'll, we will have the Jedrick Wills and Andrew Thomas video out tomorrow because we're going to go through some stuff. It wasn't as good as the last two games, but Thomas has been much improved, much improved. And it's not, like I said, he's not been perfect, but he's been much improved since Joe Judge has taken over. That with the running game stuff, and this was all initially after Paul Alexander, um, who was you know a, a longtime Bengals coach, he was with the, uh, with the Cowboys, who was fired for Mark Colombo in Dallas, came out and criticized Colombo on the way he was coaching Thomas. I didn't really like jive with that totally, but nonetheless, that did happen. So just giving context to it. So this is, this is like big stuff in the middle of the season. Uh, I kind of like it. And we'll get into Duglielmo in a second. Um, Cause there, I think there's some positives and negatives to Duglielmo um, from the outside looking in. Obviously I'm not in their practices knowing what he's doing. I like that Joe Judge has the initiative to see something going wrong and fix it and fix it. And then apparently like the argument was so bad this morning, wasn't a fist fight. Like they had said, I'm going to fist fight Jason McIntyre for falsely reporting that. Um, but Joe Judge decided to fire him. So I, I, kind of, I actually really like that about Joe Judge. Um, I know people love Joe Judge. I've been, I, I like Joe Judge, but I haven't been like drink the Kool-Aid on Joe Judge. I really like that about Joe Judge. And like I said, Columbo, and Garrett were the only two people who didn't have that connection with Joe Judge. Um, if that makes me comfortable that if Joe Judge doesn't believe Jason Garrett is the offensive coordinator of the future, that he will be gone. Now he may be back. And the last couple games have looked. The last three games have been good. Judge Jones was really bad versus Tampa, so the last three games from Garrett have been good. Now, let's say the last four because I actually liked in the first Eagles game the way Garrett called it. But nonetheless, I like the initiative from Joe Judge. Now, who is Dave Duglielmo? 
Well, he's been around for a while. He was with the Giants, and, and you guys remember Pat Flaherty, who was our offensive line coach for a long time, as an assistant for the Giants from 04 to 08, and was part of that uh, that Super Bowl team. Where And he was part of that team where David Deal, Rich Soybert, Sean O'Hare, Chris Nee, and Kareem McKenzie had all those starts together. And I remember, because I thought Duglielmo was going to get the job in the offseason. I had some clips that I was going to post on Twitter. I'm going to go get those when I'm when I'm done with this video. Um, so follow me on Twitter, at Bobby Sagan underscore. Um, so he was with there, and then in 2012, he became an offensive line coach with the Jets. Now, he was with the Patriots from 2014 to 2015. So does that does that line up with Joe Judge? I should have done that research before. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to do middle, and I don't really edit these videos, so it shows that I'm, I'm real. Joe Judge coaching history. Let's see. I know this people are like, look at this dummy. This the guy's not a real YouTuber. I'm not really a YouTuber. He was with the Patriots from... Uh, wait. Ah, da, 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 da. Maybe I will edit a second out of this. He was with the Patriots from... Okay, so he was there with uh, with 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 Joe Judge. So there's some sort of relationship there. Um, and then he was an assistant with the Chargers in 16. So, Dolphins in 2017. And then this is where uh, it gets a little weird. He goes to the Colts in 2018 as part of Josh McDaniel's staff. We all know the story with Josh McDaniels. He had accepted the job, but when it came to sign on paper, he backed out and went back to the Patriots. So, like I said, they had hired a lot of these coaches. So, Frank Wright comes in, and he keeps Duglielmo on the staff. And if you remember that year, I, I followed the Colts co closely that season. I, my roommate was a Colts fan. Um, that offensive line was really good. One, the addition of Quentin Nelson, but Costanzo looked good. They Braden Smith, who was supposed to be a guard, was playing right tackle. Um, you know, Kelly, like that offensive line was awesome that year. It was probably like the best offensive line in the NFL that year. Then they fired him because it wasn't it wasn't Reich's guy. And if you watch some interviews with Duglamo, which you know you should go do after this, after you subscribe and like and all that stuff, he's a snarly guy. He is a very snarly, hard ass tough nose type of guy like he rubs people the wrong way and there was an incident and you can go google it, i'm not going to bring it up with denzel good with the colts where apparently like he, i mean it was it got they were rubbed the wrong way big time um and then so after the colts he joins the dolphins last season 2019 with patrick graham with you know giants uh, qb coach now jerry Shuplinski, as an assistant offensive line coach to our old friend pat flaherty with the giants Flaherty gets fired in July, so they uh, promote um, Dave Duglielmo. Um, and then he was offered the job after the season, but I, apparently they couldn't agree on money, and Duglielmo was looking at the Giants' job, so they parted ways. So, long story short, Duglielmo was being brought to the Giants as an assistant. Mark Colombo takes it the wrong way. He gets fired. Now, Duglielmo is the head coach. I, listen, it's hard to judge position coaches when you're not there at the practices, but I like this initiative from Joe Judge, and I like the fact that he joined, like he saw that the O line was struggling as through three games, like or through seven games, and went and helped them. Um, so that's good. That's good news from Joe Judge, man. It really does put some confidence in Joe Judge. This is a crazy situation. I'm sure by the time I post this, will be more information. But, wow, 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 what a. What a week to be a Giants fan. You beat the Eagles for the first time in four years. You're in the division race. Then Graham Gano, who you just signed an extension to on game day, gets COVID. And then DeAndre Baker gets found, uh, gets all charges dropped against him. And then this. I mean, please don't tell me what's going to happen tomorrow. I mean, I mean, something. Is this supposed to be a bye week? Supposed to relax this week. So, anyways, subscribe, like. Um, what a freaking story, man. What a story. Hey. Let's see if there's some new things on the next offensive line report. How about that? I'm going to put the offensive line report in the little... You know at the end of the videos, it's like a... Subscribe. New, watch this video. I'm going to put the offensive line report in it. Um, maybe I'll put like the week 9 one in there or something. I don't know. Alright, appreciate you guys. Let's go Big Blue. What do you think of the new background? Bye.